was invited to Rose Avenue School to do the celebration as Canada 150. And the theme was selected around how whales change climate. They actually are important to the air that we breathe. We are losing these big beautiful creatures because of pollution and what they call the shipping lanes. If you take the whale out of the picture, and a lot of countries like Japan and Sweden and Norway hunt whales, you have less fish in the ocean. If you have uh, whales gone, they don't bring up the nutrients that feed these tiny little animals, these little krill. Part of our picture will include how the smallest life has an impact on the climate change and the, some of the biggest animals on the planet, like the blue whale. The more plant plankton and animal plankton, they are actually absorbing the carbon and that becomes blue carbon, which means they, it, it gathers this up and it sinks to the ocean floor and remains there for thousands of years. So whales are responsible for possibly taking out each year tens of millions of tons of carbon. I'm going to show you some easy ways to think about whales and how to draw whales. Are you up for that? Yes. yes. All right. Having children understand an experience through science, through research, through art. Here's an opportunity for children to really begin to sense why is it important that we help manage the oceans and save the great whales. So to be able to bring this to children and have them look at this in a way that they can get that's not overly complex and by using art as a way to marry this together this gives I think a much more memorable experience for children to then find ways that they would understand this and what does that mean to them in their life. I draw the humpback whale okay. and I learned about them that they, they can go deep underwater. They're the size of three school buses. Orca whales can eat seals. Orcas also can go also on the sand to get to eat. Belugas are like really chatty. They make squeaks and their sound is like this whistles. These children will have something to reflect back on. They will have this as a touch point or a milestone in their life. And that to me is really where we're building the future. And this is truly the idea of art married into science, married into their personal lives that, that I believe makes a great impact. So what would you say to someone who thinks that, ah, we don't need whales? How would you feel if you you were a whale and somebody caught you. I, I will say the whales are so amazing and, and, they, and they don't hunt you. So why do, why do you want to hunt them? We'll tell them how much we know and, and, and if they get interested of them, they might stop.